Hey everybody, what's going on? Jimmy is Promo here back again with another awesome video. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about canceling of the Galaxy Fold, but more specifically myself canceling the Galaxy Fold as well as Best Buy. And I don't know if a few others will also follow and even eventually Samsung. So first off, let's talk about myself canceling the Galaxy Fold, and then we can talk about what happened to anybody who pre-ordered it from Best Buy. So first off, I canceled the Galaxy Fold about three or four days ago. I just felt like pretty much everything just kind of steamed off. Um, plus also I was thinking about, so as a YouTuber, uh, it makes a little bit of sense to, to get the Galaxy Fold, get the views, be one of the early adopters getting the device, but technically that has already happened um, a few weeks ago with MKBHD and Unbox Therapy and everybody else who was already using these devices and also took off the protective film. And then there was all that issues with all the problems with the Galaxy Fold. So yes, it makes sense for a YouTuber to get this device, but me personally, I just don't wanna get it. When you also look at the timeline of everything that's going on, um, if the Galaxy Fold was to be you know, sent to me on the date it was supposed to, which is June 13th, which as of yet, Samsung still never released a new um, release date and it's already May 27th, which is Memorial Day. Now, even if I was to get it on June 13th, that means that we are only two months away from the Galaxy Note 10. So the Note 10 is definitely gonna get launched probably early August, maybe the first or second week. It's always on a Friday. So um, actually let's look at a really fast calendar here. So if we look over into the next month here, so May, June, July, August. So we're looking two months from now. So it's probably gonna be released on August 2nd or August 9th. So for me, as a YouTuber who does a lot more tutorial videos than a first look type video, it makes no sense for me to have a Galaxy Fold for two months and then move right back over into the Galaxy Note 10. Also, all of the more fun, radical designs that's happening with cameras and everything else happens in the mid-range phones of Samsung, which is the A series. Now, Samsung completely got rid of the J series, so the J7, the J3. You can say goodbye to those and say hello to the Galaxy A. Now, there's gonna be many of those versions, probably three or four versions, probably three, coming to the United States here probably pretty shortly as well. So just looking at everything, with everything that I just kind of gave you and in, in digesting everything, if the Galaxy Fold does arrive with to me on June 13th, which I've already canceled, then I have the A series to look forward to, as well as I'm hopefully gonna get the Galaxy, or um, I'm also planning to also get the OnePlus 7 Pro, and also the Galaxy Note 10. So it really just doesn't make sense for me. So you can think of it, does it make sense for you? Also with what they're doing is they're really only improving a couple aspects of the fold. They're improving um, just a little bit of that protective layer, probably um, infusing it with the phone itself. They're looking at the hinge system, but they're not redesigning. They're not redoing really anything. They're just kind of improving on what was already made. So for me, it just feels like it's just not really the first one for me. Usually I always pop, you know, pop onto the bandwagon of the very first device. This is the first one that I'm not. Um, only also because I feel the Galaxy Fold 2 is gonna be released in six months. So when you look back at 2012, um, when you look at the Galaxy Note 1, it came out in uh, February or March of 2012. And then you had October 24th, 2012 was when the, the, the Note 2 came out. So you have a eight or nine month spread of the Note 1 to the Note 2. And the Note 2 was massively greater and improved than the Note 1. So I have a huge hunch, basically, that the Galaxy Fold 1 when it comes out is it's pretty much the same thing that you see now. There'll probably still be issues even though they're reinforcing a few things. Um, and it's a very plasticky device. The very front, um, when you basically open it up, it's very, very plasticky. Um, it just doesn't feel premium whatsoever. And also when you, they basically made it into a foldable tablet. It's not really a foldable phone, it's a foldable tablet. And I feel like that's not the generation for me. Um, so, and then the Galaxy Fold 2 will come out six months later. So I, I would be annoyed of getting the Galaxy Fold at $2,000 and then six months later, which is now probably five months, uh, the Galaxy Fold 2 comes out at the exact same price of $2,000. Yes, it'll be the same price, but it's going to be improved. So it won't come down in price, but it'll always get better. The exact same thing that's happened with the Note series and the S series. 
Now let's talk about Best Buy. If you pre-ordered the Galaxy Fold from Best Buy, this is the email that you received. So in an email sent out to customers, Best Buy noted that with uh, breakthrough designs and technology come many hurdles and the possibility to face a plethora of unseen hiccups. These hurdles have led Samsung to postpone the release of the Galaxy Fold, and Samsung has not provided a new release date because we put our customers first and want to ensure that they're taken care of in the best possible manner, Best Buy has decided to cancel all current pre-orders for the Galaxy Fold. Now, the biggest sentence in this is when they said, um, Samsung has not provided a new release date. That is the main reason why they canceled it. They might as well get ahead of themselves and get ahead of Samsung, cancel all the pre-orders before it has to be canceled by Samsung on May 31st. So I don't know if this is a clue to something if best buy knows something that everybody else does not that samsung has not released yet but it sounds as if that um, a lot of other people are canceling it i know that i canceled it about three or four days ago um, this article in terms of this email came out like two days ago so i just feel like there's just something going on um, but really when you just look at everything from a whole what i'm trying to kind of get to here is should you update or get yourself the galaxy fold and should samsung release it so i feel that it's up to you if you'd want to have it i would say no i would say hold off on this one um, just because i can guarantee you a galaxy fold 2 will come out in about six months it's going to be way better and if it's not called the galaxy 2 they will rebrand it with something else there's also a whole new patent talking about how they have a completely different foldable phone and instead of being folded inwards where the screen will have that crease it'll actually basically kind of fold backwards going around the screen which would also help the crease uh, and something will just kind of the, the hinge would kind of move to allow that so it's not being completely folded but it'll be rounded which is something samsung's used to with the infinity display so it's up to you if you want to get it i would say hold off just wait get either the galaxy note 10 for half the price um, or you can wait for the fold 2 coming out in about five or six months now what samsung should do oh man i don't even know what they should do it's up to them uh if they don't release the phone they already know what to fix if they do release the phone then they'll have more things and more um, support and more comments of what they could do to improve it so really us as customers we are guinea pigs we are somebody who uses these phones and basically tells Samsung what to do and how to improve it and then they come out with the next generation phone but I can already guarantee you it's already in the works there's really no reason to really purchase the phone and there's really no reason for Samsung to release it uh, if they want to they can completely rebrand it and come out with a fold 2 but maybe change the name and then also still have that other device they want to release that is having a different type of fold and hinge system. So this was just talking about a scenario of where Galaxy Fold could cancel, it could not cancel, but I'm really just kind of trying to inform you on making a, uh, a good decision, something that's practical on if you should get it or not. And honestly, practically, don't get the Galaxy Fold. A brand new one will come out um, not long after now at the exact same price point that you're paying now. So you might as well hold that $2,000 and get something that's a little bit better. That is exactly what I did. Um, and usually I always get every single Samsung phone that I could. Uh, and for me skipping this, it's, a, I would say a pretty big deal. Uh, and you guys can take um, the plunge with me and just hold off because I know something better will come. Um, and then basically, I guess we'll look for some new better videos coming out here with tutorials because then with me not spending two thousand dollars i can get the one plus seven pro um, i can also get myself one of the a series as well as the galaxy note 10 for the exact same price but i hope you guys have enjoyed this video hopefully it was a little entertaining hopefully it brought a little bit of light to kind of what happens we really are the guinea pigs when it comes to these phones and just think back on the note one the note two came out the exact same year and way better and improved. I feel that's the exact same thing with the Galaxy Fold. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Share this video with your friends and family and social media sites. Don't forget to hit on that subscribe button and the like button if you liked anything stated in this video. And leave some comments if you think that I'm right, if I'm wrong, and whatever your um, opinions are and whatever your thoughts are with this scenario of Galaxy Fold. And I'll see you guys later.